Hey guys, it's me again, you know who I am, and today I have a video comparing health, armor, and shields, uh, and when you should use each on your build. So let's talk about health. Health is mostly good all around. It creates a nice buffer that prevents you from getting shredded at the low end of sorties. Unlike shields and armor, when this hits zero, you die. So it's not exactly a bad idea to stock up on this, especially against the infested as they're as a lot of their attacks deal toxin damage, which completely ignores shields, and has a bonus against ferret armor, which is the kind of armor that Warframes use. Warframes health is good on Warframes like Ash and Korra, as Ash has a large health pool for a stealth Warframe, making him nearly unkillable paired with some sort of lifesteal or mediray, and Korra as health mods affect Venere's HP via link health, and both Korra and Venere can heal each other via mods or Venere's heal mode. Warframe's health isn't good on are Warframes that generally share the smallest health pool in the game, like Avara and Neja, as any Warframe with health this low generally gets shredded even with health mods, and most of these Warframes in this category that fit in this category have some way to negate or avoid damage like Avara's Prowl or Neja's Warding Halo. Now let's talk about shields. Shields are surprisingly underrated. Unlike health and armor, they regenerate over time without mods. They have fairly good resistances and pair with a good damage reduction ability like Gara's Splinter Storm or Mesa's Shadow Shield make you surprisingly tanky, especially paired with the Guardian Sentinel mod that has a high chance to restore all your shields instantly. However, this does not come without downsides. Slash and Toxin damage completely bypass shields, so against the infested going all in on shields without some form of healing or status immunity isn't very smart. Warframes that shields are good on, Warframes that have damage reduction skills, typically like uh, Mesa and Gara, and having a damage reduction on top of a resource that regenerates automatically is always good. Warframes that shields aren't good on are frames like Nidus and believe it or not, Harrow. Whereas Harrow can generate a large amount of shields and over shields at the press of a button, giving him shield mods is redundant, and going in all in on shields leaves you very vulnerable to toxin and slash procs at the higher levels, whereas Warframes with no base shields, like Nidus, have the opposite problem. Unlike Korra's Venere, shield mods don't give him shields, so shield mods don't affect him at all. Now let's talk about armor. Now armor actually isn't that great, as great as it seems, as it is a damage reduction, but it only applies to health, or in other words, when your shields are depleted, that's when armor kicks in. On top of the bonus being multiplicative, so frames like Zephyr or Banshee don't benefit as much as frames like Rhino or Chroma. Though there are mods and arcanes that give you an additive flat armor bonus on mods like Health Conversion or arcanes like Arcane Guardian, this, this mod makes frames like Necros and Trinity pretty tanky due to their ability to generate health orbs. So general rule of thumb is don't touch armor unless it directly affects your abilities, uh, though an additive armor bonus is always nice. Warframes armor is good on are Warframes like Rhino and Frost, as their abilities are directly affected by armor mods and will save you some power strength if you choose to use it. Warframes armor isn't good on are Warframes like Loki and Wukong. Now Loki shares the smallest health pool in the game, so increasing his armor won't give you any real results. Wukong, on the other hand, has not one, but two abilities that make him unkillable. So in his case, armor is completely worthless. Anyway guys, that's all for me. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.